Just when you thought I was done, you realized there's no way this guy's done yet. <laughs> so since I'm on a roll today and it is still second day of July 2024, one more thing I got to show you. How to make some Sonic. Because these are the best ones that you can buy from the grocery store. Some Sonic Chili Cheese Tots at home. Let's get into it. I'm going to open these bad boys up, put them in the air fryer, let them cook a little while, and then we're going to load them down with some chili and some cheese, latchkey style. And uh, yeah, we'll be using that famous latchkey chili that we made up earlier today. Link for that down in the description. All right, then. All right. Sorry about that. This is food I got covered up. That I've been making all day. It's just hot dog, wieners, and onions, and my chili, which is going to be necessary for this recipe. So, basically, I'm making like a single server for just me for now because uh, no one else is here to eat any with me right this second. So, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, since we're doing this in the air fryer, we got to take a few precautions here. So, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this thing with them. This is going to help with the crispness in the air fryer. What you're going to want to do is you want to get your hand in there and make sure they're coated really well with the oil. This could take a minute. Don't worry, it'll wash off with a little Dawn soap. It's a little nasty feeling, but uh, hey worth it for the extra step here trust me and then we're gonna take kind of a deep pan so it won't be splattering all the way all over our uh, air fryer I want to keep these kind of centered here all right and there we go. All right, so I'm going to go preheat the air fryer, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so our air fryer just preheated. So I'm just going to open it up here. And uh, I have one of those oven air fryers. If you don't have an air fryer, an oven will work just fine for this. Just fine for this. Or you can just cook them on stovetop in the grease. This just cuts down on some of the grease without... I'm cutting all of the grease out and sacrificing that little extra crispness that comes from the grease. So I got these bad boys in here and uh, we're not going to quite leave them 30 minutes, but we got them on 400. So I'm going to leave them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll come back and check on them while we're doing that. I'm going to shred up some char <laughs> some sharp cheddar some sharp cheddar all right so they are done and they have crisp up to my liking anyway let's see if i can get them out oh listen at them sizzle oh yeah all right so just trying to find me a place on the counter to put them oh i'll put them on top of this other pan here that's perfect and uh i'll let you look at them again Oh yeah, they're good and gold and brown. A little bit of extra oil helps. You want a little bit deeper tray to catch that oil though. I want it getting all over your air fryer. And uh, I got me a plate to put these on. I'll show you what we're going to do here. We're going to make us some uh, chili cheese tots. Place you right here for a second. So I got my plate and I'm just going to empty these tots onto it. Ooh, good and hot folks, good and hot. Right. Place the pan over in the sink like that. All right, so the way you build the latch key chili cheese tuss. Put 
First of all, we gotta get some of that there. Salt and pepper on, like that. Mm, pepper ain't coming out good. Just closed up, no wonder. Somebody had a little flap closed. Right. We didn't get no pepper out like that. Right, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Good and peppery. A little salt on there. Don't overdo it. Right, get these things into a good little pile here. Make them look like a little mountain. Or a small hill. <laughs> and then uh, we'll catch up and get the there we go. You don't want to overdo it on the ketchup. You just want to splatter it out in spots because you don't want to cool off them tots too much. Just some good little dot coverage, just like that, all over the place. All right? And then we want to do the same thing with some mustard. If you like mustard, that is. If you don't, you can leave off whatever you like to leave off. But I like it on mine. Splat it around just like that. Just like that. And then we're going to take some of my latchkey chili here. Place it on there. Spread that a little bit all over the place like that. Don't want to overdo it on the chili, but you want to put it all in the center just like that. Then a little bit of our shredded, and I use sharp cheddar. Just want to Spread it out all over the place as well. Add some more chili to melt that up a little bit. <laughs> and then top it with the rest of my cheese that I grated up here. I grated fresh cheese, fresh sharp cheddar. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about now you could add onions or pickles or whatever else you want but that right there is enough for me I'm going to get me a fork and we're going to try it out right now have my drink on standby alright folks y'all ready for this y'all excited man this is one I've been excited for all day now I like a good hot dog and I like some good old chili cheeseburgers and stuff like that but how about some loaded tater tots loaded chili cheese tots we'll get a little bit of everything on there like, like that like that a good bite like that Oh my God, y'all. That is so freaking good. Oops. Lost my tight. Lost everything. Here, I'll crunch it, they came out. Forgot to mention that part. Good and crunchy. If I was to make these for you and serve them to you, you would not be able to tell they were air fried. Sonic has the best tater top for the air fryer. Mmm.
you know, I can see a little bit of hot sauce on that being as good as well. Sky's the limit. But the one thing you definitely need on there is my latchkey chili. And for that, you're going to have to just go out and buy the ingredients and make it yourself. I'll leave a link for that recipe that I have made on video down in the description just in case you missed it. But, uh, hey, listen. You got to try this for yourself, folks. Got to try it. If you do, got to come back and tell me you tried it and let me know what you thought about it. <laughs> I know what I think about it. Awesome. Totally awesome. Alright, folks, that is all I have for this video. So until the next one, you folks have a good one.